Welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a boxer on the Rainbow Loom. He's a big dog, and I really love how he came out. And he has his square snout coming out, and his cute little ears, and actually made an extension on the chest area so it protrudes a little bit. You can see that right there. So it's a broad chest, and he's a really cute little dog. So I'm using this coloration right here. I'm going to use white and the burgundy brown. You can use whatever colors you'd like. And they do come in brindle, which you can use um, like a brown and a black mixed together. So we can get started. It's going to be a single loom and in a staggered position. Okay, I also want to show you that I made little white paw pads for him. And if you don't want white on your dog, you can use any other color you know, the same color as the body, and you just make them your own. But I really love how this came out, and sometimes they do have black on the face too, so you can use black. If you don't want white over here, you can just use the same color as the head. So, but I'm going to make this white line, and I'm going to make it the white face and the white neck to go with this dog. Okay, so I'm going to use the burgundy brown and white right now. It's going to be double bands and I'm going to first place my double bands right here to right here. Okay, so they're all double right now. Then we'll go to the other side of the head right here and here. And now I'm going to go to the white part of the face, the line. Okay, and that's double too. So then we'll go back to brown, here to here, and then we're going to go here to here. Okay, so now I want to make the head a little bit with more bands. So I'm going to do a little stretch right here and right here to make the head a little bit more fuller. So these are double brown. And we're just connecting here to here. A little stretch over there. And then another double brown from here to here. Okay, now more white in the middle. And I'll try to take this tutorial slow today because it is there's extra parts to this dog. And then another white right here. Okay, so there's three white. One, two, three. Then we're going to go back to brown. Place it here to here. And then from here to here. And we'll do the same on the left side. Okay, so I want a white little neck area and chest. If you don't want this white, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna, and it comes back a little bit like this too. It shows white on the back. I've seen a lot of bold, uh, boxers like this. So I really like how that came out. So I'm gonna add white for this section. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. Now this is the neck, so it's gonna be a triple white. So three white, go right here. Then I'm going to go to double, and it's going to be a double from here to here. So that's a triple, and that's a double. Then we're going to double over here, and then another double on the other side. Okay, so now we're going to brown, and I like how the body looks with the brown body. So we're going to work on the middle of the dog first. Okay, so I have one white here and then I'm doing brown. I'm going to do five stitches total of brown. He's going to have a longer body because he has a bigger chest. So this is number one. This is number two. This is three. And number four. And 
number five. Okay, now we're going to do the rest of the side of the body, which is all going to be brown. They're all double. So we'll start from here to here. And we're just working our way down. And connecting it right here. We'll work on the left side. Okay, still working the way down. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause catch up and then connect right here okay so now I'm going to place this to the side and we're going to work on the legs the legs are going to be five stitches long I'm going to repeat this one with the white paw but if you don't want a white paw you can do a brown paw or a black paw any color you like but I'm going to do the same exact um, leg. So you're gonna it's gonna be all on the hook and it's gonna be the make the little claws first. And you're gonna put it on the hook one, two, three, and four times around. Then I'm gonna take my double white band for that little paw, place the black in the middle of it, and then place the white back on the hook, just like that. Now I'm going to add the double browns. So I said before it was five stitches. So we're going to do here's number two. And then here's number three. And number four. And number five. And then uh, I'll show you actually how to make him into a paw, just like that, you know, later on. It's just moving the bands around. But we're going to place that right here. This is going to be his little shoulder. Okay, and we're going to do another one and place it right here. So another black. One, two, three, and four. Double white. Place the black on the double white. Okay, then four more of these browns to make five total. So here's number one, two, three, four. And five. Okay, and we're going to place that right here. Okay, the hind legs are a little bit different. If you've made my other dogs before, I make it a little thicker up here for the thigh. So we're going to do one white and one, two, three of the double. Okay, and then I'll show you on the loom how to make the thigh. Black, one, two, three, four, then a white. Place that on there. So then brown. So that's one, two, three, and four. So you can see it's one white and three browns. Now we're going to make the thigh and you're going to need a double of the brown and we're just placing it on this pin 
to this pin, then another double of the brown, and we're placing it from this pin to this pin. Okay, and then we're going to place this leg right here on that pin. Pull back, and we're going to grab this one first. We're going to loom forward. Then we're going to grab this one. Then you can take it off the loom. And we're going to place it on this pin and this pin. So one stitch goes here. And get it all on there. And then the other one goes on the bottom. Okay, so it looks like that. And then we're going to do the same right over here. Okay, so here's the next cloth. So it's going to be one, two, three, and four. Then you're going to get the white. Place the black on the white. Place the white back on the hook. And then we're going to have the double brown. There's one, two. Three and number four. Okay, so it looks like this. And then you're going to need, we're going to do the thigh again, double brown from here to here, another brown from here to here. We'll place the leg on this pin, and now we're going to grab this one. And that, so we loom that one and this one, and we're going to place them on these two pins. And push this down. Okay, so these are your legs. So now, this is the thing that's different about this dog. He has a chest, and it comes out, and you can see it's thinner here, and it comes out very broad right here. And we're going to make the broad chest right now. So I want you to push down these pins, and we're going to make an extension here. So. Pay close attention to what I'm doing, and then it will work out just fine. So we're going to do a two-stitch extension here for the, for the chest. You're going to need double bands, and we're just placing the double bands on top. So we're going to place it from this pin to this pin, and then we're going to do another double band from this pin to this pin. We need a little capping band here. So you need a single. Place it on this pin. So it's one, two, third pin down where we ended this extension. Wrap it around three times. So one, two, three. So that's your little extension and I'll show you how to loom it later. We're going to do the, another extension on this side. Double band Place from this pin to this pin, another double band, from here to here, then you need a capping band, one, two, three. So that's that. Now we need a tail, and the tail that I have here is a little dock tail. It is three stitches long. If you want it longer, you can do four or five stitches. I think five would be a nice normal tail, but I did a little dock tail, so I did three stitches. And if you want a shorter one, you can do less stitches too. 
So but I'll do three. Take a single brown, place it on the hook, wrap it around three times. So one, two, three. Take another double brown, place that in the middle. Then I'm going to take another double brown. This is stitch number two. Then stitch number three. Another double. Okay, and then you're going to place it right here. That's your tail. Okay, so now we're going to put little um, structural bands. It's going to be a single brown and make a triangle right here. Single brown, another triangle, single brown, triangle, and this is where our extension is. I'm going to stretch this a little bit and make another little triangle, another single brown, stretch it out a little bit, and triangle. Okay, so these are your extensions, I mean your um, structural bands. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work on the face. The face is a little bit different. He protrudes a little bit. I added very a lot of bands for the bottom and the top of the um, the dog, the face, and with one band for the snap for the nose to hold everything together. If you feel like it's too many bands, because I, I actually did I think around seven bands with one band holding it together. You can minimize it to six bands. If you're using black as the muzzle, I believe I really see the black a little bit thicker than the rainbow loom white that I use. So you can actually minimize it to six bands instead of seven. But if you have thinner bands, I would use seven. If you have thicker bands, I would use six. So we can start that right now. Okay, so I set aside seven white bands, and then I need two more white bands here and two more here. So a total of four right here and seven here. Now my snout, and these bands are going to be this big square right here, which is his snout area. And I'm going to do the nose right now, put it on the hook, wrap it four times around. One, two, three, and four. Four. Now, if you're using the Rainbow Loom Black and they're a little thicker, you can use six. It depends on, you know, how comfortable you feel like that this nose is going to hold up. And if your bands are still too thick in here, you can make the nose into three and it'll just be a little bit bigger on the dog. So we can do the three or the four. I'm going to do four. And I'm going to take my seven bands, and I want them all the same length. So let's you can dangle them like this. And the reason why I want this is because some of them, they're like an oblong shape. So you can see it with the other dogs too. I don't want one band like that, and then one band like that, and then the face gets a little messed up. So I want them all the same length. So I got my my seven bands right here. I'm going to place my snap, my little nose on the seven bands. Take your time with this. Okay, so I have that. And then I'm just going to place it right in the middle. Now it looks like a little bow tie. Okay, so now I'm going to take my hook out. I'm going to take the top three bands. I'm going to try to do this as slow as possible so there, you know nobody gets messed up. Top three. Now make sure that they're all the same band. So you can stretch it and make sure that it's these three are these three so you don't 
put it on the loom and you have like one connected here and one connected here and then it all falls apart. So make sure that there's, these are three bands and you're not hooking anything else. So the way you can do that is just pull it apart. There's a little hole there. That's three bands. So now I'm going to take my double and if you're using black, use black. Okay, my double. And this is the part two. If you are using six bands for this, you can put two on the top and then have the four on the bottom because I definitely want to keep the four on the bottom. So there's four on the bottom. One, two, three, and four. And three on the top. And if you're using like a black or a thicker band, you can have the four on the bottom and two on top. It'll look still look cute, but I want more bands on the bottom. So then we're going to take a double and bring this through the top. And then we're going to place it on the loom right here and right here. Okay, that's halfway done. Now we're going to take our other double. We're going to place our hook, if you can see, right through the top. Then we're going under. I want to get all the bands on there. So you can see four on this side and four on this side. So it looks like this. Then we're going to place our double white, and you can use black too if you have a black snout, through here. I'm going to place that right here on this pin. Take it slow because it can get snagged on some of these and right here on this pin. Okay, so this is your little muzzle area, your snout. Now, when we start looming, right now I want to separate these. Separate these. And I'm just going to place this right on top of this pin so it's easier to loom later okay now we're going to work on the eyes and i'm going to use black eyes for mine you can use beads also single i'm going to place this here so you can see that too four times around so one two three and four then another black one two three and four and another way to do this too, and I show it in my other dogs, you can place it like a figure eight and then wrap it around again. So that's four times also. Then I'm going to use the color of my dog, which is the brown, and place the eyes on the brown. Then I'm going to place it right here on this pin, bring it across, and on this pin. Separate the eyes out. And then once we start looming, this is actually going to come down and then you can see the separation with the eyes. And now we're going to work on the ears. And I'm going to do brown ears for this one. You can do whatever color you like. It would look cute as black ears too. So I'm going to use brown for this. It's going to be a single brown wrapped on the hook three times. So one, two, three. Then you're going to take a triple of the brown. So three. Make sure they're all the same length. Dangle them. Then place your triple on that, place it back on the hook, 
make sure it's in the middle. Take a single, so one, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, place it back on there, then we're going to place it right here. So you're placing the single twist on that pin, place it up, we'll do it again. Work on the other ear. Single, one, two, three. Then a triple. Place it on the hook. Bring that ear, the, you know, the band in the middle. Place it back on the hook. So it looks like that. Then take a single, twist it upon itself. Place it on the hook, place that back so it looks like that, and then place it right here. Single twist. Okay, so this is what your boxer should look like. Make sure it looks like this, and now we can start looming. Okay, pay close attention, because now we're going to do the extension. It's a little different with this dog because of the, the face and the chest area. So we have this extension here, one, two bands. You can see it right here. So yeah, we're going to go underneath this capping band that we, brought, we placed right here. And we're only grabbing the top band that's right here. Not this bottom, we're leaving this alone. So go underneath that extension. I mean, go underneath that capping band, grab the first layer, which is the extension, loom forward, and here again, we're only grabbing that top layer, not the bottom. Just that extension. Now, put your finger right here so it doesn't fall off, and you can take the extension off the loom and bring it to the side and leave it like that. Now it's gonna also have this structural band inside of it, which is gonna keep it on the body. And that's your one side of the chest. And now we can go to this side. If you didn't get this, you can rewind it and, and see it again. I'm gonna uh, do this top, same as before. I'll show you the side view. Go underneath that capping band grabbing that just top layer, bringing it forward. Come underneath, grab that top layer, bring forward. Now I'm going to go right here and bring the extension to the side. Just like that. So now he has his chest done. Now we can start looming the rest of the dog and pull that little tail out and my first band will be this guy on the left then I'm going to grab this one and now I'm going to loom the middle forward so you can see the teardrop shape right here and we're just looming forward. Okay, here's my white. I'm gonna bring it forward and we're done with the middle of the body. So now we're gonna do the side of the body and it's only going to be the bottom layer. We're not touching this and we're just doing the bottom layer up to the top and then the white going to the middle. So I'm just grabbing the bottom. I'm not touching the legs, just the bottom. Okay, extension here. I'm not grabbing that extension at all. 
I'm just grabbing the bottom and bringing it forward. Okay, here's my bottom layer going forward. This is a little thick here. We're just grabbing that white on the bottom and bringing it to the middle pin. So that's done. Now we'll start on this side. Once again, all bottom. Looming forward. And just grabbing the bottom. Now we're grabbing the white. And now the triple that's right here for the neck. Okay, the body's done. It's awesome. Now we're gonna work on the head and we're grabbing this guy first. He's my top layer on the left. Then the brown on the right. And now we're gonna work on the white. And this is where we're gonna loom this band. And we're gonna place it on top of here. And then we're gonna pull this and place it on top of the white band. So to take this slow. Okay, so we loom that white band. Now I'm gonna put my finger right here so I can keep this white band down. And I'm just gonna pull that snout over. I can take my hook and just bring him back over. I'm doing this slowly because I don't want anything to break. Okay, so now he's over. So you bring it closer. So I took him from over here and I brought him on top. And then this band came right over here. So now I'm going to separate this more. Now I'm going to bring this down a little bit, put my hook right in here to grab the next, this band right here. I'm just going, so we just grab the band in the middle of the eye on the bottom. I did not touch this at all. I just loomed this one, brought it, separated this, went down and loomed the next one. And now we're going to grab this one on the right. Bring it to this pin. And now we're going to grab this forehead band. It's on top of this one. Okay, it's a stretch. Now we're grabbing this one, which is the bottom. Now we're gonna grab this one. Wait, no, I'm gonna keep that one right here because I wanted this on top. So we're not grabbing this one yet. See that it's a little tricky where I want these bands but it does come out really pretty at the end. So now we're gonna grab this one. Okay, now the shoulder, this um, forehead band, brown. Okay, and now this
this one on the left. Okay, so now we have one more white band right in the middle. And I wanted to do this last because then it brings it out a little bit more because I'm placing the white on top of these bands. Place it on top of that. Now we can bring the top of the head. And bring it to the middle pin. And now we'll work on this one. And this is how he is supposed to look like. So look very closely. Make sure yours looks like this. And put pause and see that everything connects together. Now I'm going to use two brown bands and make a slip knot. And that's how he should look. So now I can take him off the loom and take him off slowly. Start with the tail and the legs. This is the extension part. Okay, arms, the neck, now the head, we're going to go slow. I'm going to go underneath and bring that out. And the head. Okay, we don't need the loom anymore. And this is how he looks. He's all looks like a big teddy bear now. This is the front of him. We're gonna place our finger right behind the head, bring it out, push it in, push it out. Okay, my eyes are good. Stretch them out a little bit. Keep the ears up. We're going to fix this a little bit. If, if you like him like this, you can keep him like that, but I'm going to make him more pronounced like this one. It's a big difference. And we're going to stretch out the body. Stretch out the legs. Now here's the extension that we did. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. Stretch it out, and then we're going to fold it together like this later on and sew it. But right now, I want to make his neck a little bit better. So I'm going to make his neck go up like this, and I'm going to place my hook right underneath the three stitches, and just tug, and then his neck goes up. Okay, we can work on this part right now, and... We had the four stitches right here, so I'm just going to place my hook right through those four little stitches. You can see how this looks like right here. There's a hole, and then I'm going to tug this and bring this out, and it's going to bring it out a little bit. Then I'm going to take my hook away. Then you have this white stitch in the middle. I'm going to place my hook right underneath that white stitch and tug on that. And it's going to be uniform and look fabulous. 
and if you really want to make it more pronounced on the top, you can do a little, very smidge of a tug right here. A little smidge, and that will bring it out too. So you can see what happened, it brought everything out. And then later I'm gonna show you how to do the ears and everything. But we, we fixed his mouth and his neck. Now we're gonna sew him together and make him 3D. So I have my extension right here. I'm just gonna fold him in half. So he's directly in half. And you can already see the chest is bigger on right here because of that extension. And what we're gonna do is sew the extension and then sew the belly. And you can use one rubber band or two rubber bands for this one. I'm gonna start out with one and I'm gonna stretch it out because it's gonna be a bigger body this time. So I wanna make sure everything's good. I'm gonna take this slow now, okay? I'm, I've been trying to make it slower, but I don't know if it's too fast for some people. But I'm going to grab, I usually, on a regular dog, I would grab this right here to start sewing, but because he has an extension, I'm gonna grab the extension instead. So right here is my first ones that I'm gonna grab. It's the two inner bands. I'm not grabbing the outer two. You can see the teardrop right here on the extension. I'm not grabbing this guy. I'm just grabbing the inside ones. So I'm gonna place my hook right underneath, right underneath, and then I'm going to take a band, place it on the hook, Bring it through, bring it as low as you can. I'm gonna make a little slip knot. Just like that. So I want it as low as I can. So I don't want the slip knot like up here. I want it just a little bit lower. So then I'm going to grab the next little extension, the inner one. Just like that, bring that underneath, pull top. Now we're going into the regular body. And I'm going to pull that top. This next stitch is the regular body. Then I have another regular body stitch, the next one, it's only the inner bands. Now if you feel like you're running out of space with this, you can't like tie him any um, longer, you can add another rubber band to make this sewing, you know, the thread a little bit um, longer. So I'm gonna th add another one. So I'm just gonna take, hold this right here, can take my, another rubber band, place it like that, and make another slip knot. And I just made that stitch, you know, the thread, a little longer. So then I'm gonna go to the next inner, th inner stitch to sew. Okay, and then I'm gonna finally do one more by the back hind leg. Okay. So now I'm gonna take my trusty scissor and snip the end and then I'm gonna find I'm gonna hold one and I'm gonna make a little knot so I'm gonna get find any stitch inside 
and any stitch, pull the other side right underneath it so it's anchored. And now you can make a double or a triple knot. I do triple just to make sure it stays in place. That's three. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. Please be careful of your scissor and I mean of your fingers and don't cut the dog too because that would be horrible. So I'll take the excess away. I'm going to bring the legs down and you can see, stretch him out. Now he's 3D and he came out really nice and you can see the big chest area because this dog has a really nice broad chest and we sewed the whole body including that extension and it's a big chest over here too and that's why I wanted this down a little bit because it makes this um, chest come out a little bit so bring the arms down I mean here yeah, the legs bring that stitch down we're gonna make the little pads and we're just separating these claws out and we're going to just tug lightly on the bottom of the white paw and it makes it flat, just like that. Okay, so that's one. I'm going to separate that too. I'm going to separate these. Tug lightly on that bottom of the paw. So now it's flat. Do the same with the back. I'm going to move this one forward. Separate the claws. And then we'll work on this one too. Separate them. Tug so it moves. I'm going to move the head a little bit more up there too. Now the tail, if you want to keep it straight back like that, you can. Or you can take the hook and place it on the bottom band and just move it forward like that. Move it like that. And now the tail's up a little bit. It's a little dock tail. So it's straight up. Now I'm going to work on the ears right now because I don't, you don't want, if you want your ears to be straight because some of them are cut. Some, some boxers ears are cut. So you can keep the ears straight up like this if you like it like that. But then some of them don't have cut ears and they're natural. So I'm going to make the natural cut ear right now so you can see the difference of the two. So if you want a natural cut ear, I mean natural ear, pull this out and then you're going to see the single twist attached to this band. So I'm going to hold the back of that band and just bring that ear forward. So it comes forward a little bit so it's more up. I'm going to do the same thing on the left side. So I'm going to pull this, bring it forward, then I'm going to pull the ear out again and there's a triple band right here. I'm going to, this is the front of the dog, this is going to be the bottom of the ear. I'm going to go to the top of the ear, take the top part and just tug and move those bands forward like that. Kind of like the paw, but we're doing it right here on the ear. And I'm going to do that same thing right here on this side. So pull it up, a slight tug, slight tug, and the ears come forward. And then I'm going to sew this and hide it in the back of the head. And you can pick any bands you'd like and just 
hide, you can sew and hide the, the bands back there. And it also make the um, back of the head more round. A lot of detail with this dog, but when he comes out, he comes out really cute and adorable. So you can see his he has a broad chest, so the legs come out a little bit to the side. You can maneuver the face. If you want to make his um, jaws out a little bit more, you can do that too. Fix it up just like we did before. You know, the rubber bands, they're very elastic. So I did that again in that middle part. You know, just play with it. Make sure he's the way that you want him. Bring the eyes out. So just before, this is broad, so his arms come out a little bit. If you don't want his arms out a little bit, you can also take this extension right here, just these two bands. We tied the middle part of the extension, and you can take these two bands and actually tuck the arms through them. So now that little extension is on top and it actually brings the arms, the legs down. So it's not like more like out like that. It's more like um, more slender. And it does take a little bit away from the chest if you move that band. So it's like a little bit more, more chesty on this side than this side. But whatever you want to do, if you want to, you know, make the arms go a little bit lower, you can move that, you know, that little band over. But I like his arms a little bit wider because they do have that big chest, so I'm going to place it back. But that's just like a little suggestion. So whatever you like. And that is my boxer. So I really hope you like the tutorial. He does stand on his own. Okay. And please subscribe. I'll be making more dogs and some other accessories. Okay, bye.